everyone, Himaya Sato here, bringing you the first of my series that I like to call the Actually Helpful Tutorial Series, because I see so many videos out there of people mumbling about their cats and not making actually helpful videos. So to start off, our first video will be how to set up an ME network, which is probably the most important thing you can do starting off in any FTB game that includes applied energistics. So, to start off, the materials you're going to need to make this network are 21 iron, 4 gold, 1 diamond, 24 redstone, 12 nether quartz, 10 surges quartz, 13 sand, 2 wood logs, uh, oak, probably the easiest to gather, 2 sticks, and some coal. So how is it made? Starting off, we take our ME controller and place it. Now this is the core functionality of the whole network. Without this part, none of it will run. So this is also the part that we give power to. I'm just going to put my little cheat block back here and now you can see that the green bar is full, it's running, it has power, uh, by itself only uses 1.2 MJ a tick, which is obviously really easy to power. Now the other thing, you probably just saw me click over on the left here, you can change the power type and it will tell you the different types of power it can take. To my knowledge, uh, this is functional with every other kind of power system included in the mod pack. So after you have your controller, you can now place your access terminal, which is needed to actually access the whole network. Right now it doesn't have anything and then your ME drive and this is where the storage goes and you can put uh, any kind of storage disk in here and alternatively if you would rather use uh, instead of a drive you can place an ME chest as you saw before this only holds one drive so I wouldn't recommend starting off with this this is just if you want remote storage or something easy to access in order for it to work, you have to put a drive up in the right, and it'll hold all 63 storage slots shown here. So what's the main purpose of building all this? Well, the ME network's primary function is for storage, but you can also use it for automation. Over here you see I have two furnaces. The network is automatically uh, exporting wood into the furnace, and then being exported back into the network, turning it into charcoal without me having to intervene at all. The other purpose is for organization. Here you see I have a lot of items, let's say I wanted to pull out some stone, I can just type stone in the top here and you can see that it keeps all items sorted and holds them into stacks much larger than 64. If I want to pull it out, all I have to do is shift click and it'll put it into my inventory and obviously space click will put it all back in. Here's an example of one of the many uses for the ME network. Here I have a Steve's cart running automatically farming wood. The card is exporting its cargo into this cargo manager where it is automatically input into the network, which is where these furnaces are turning wood into charcoal, and then the charcoal is then put into this cargo manager which is filling the cart allowing it to run. Over here I have a quarry where you can see I have a tesseract. This is useful because you can have a tesseract automatically put any remote storage directly into your network. Here I have the Tesseract connected to an ME interface where the quarry would be putting items into this interface which is then exported into the network. You will need a power source for this. Obviously to run the pulverizer you're going to need RF or you can use a macerator with EU but primarily you are going to need any kind of power source to power the controller. It's a good idea to keep your power source for your network outside of the actual storage for the network. If your network runs out of power, you will lose access to your entire inventory. As you can see here, the terminal has run out of power. The network no longer has any items showing up. The more you add to your network, the more power it will consume. Depending on what component you add, the power consumption will be greater or larger than other components, but keep in mind that the more things you have in your network, the more power it will require to continue to function. An ME network can only have one controller. If you add another controller, both of them will shut down and give you a controller conflict error. You can have multiple access panels on your network, allowing you to spread it across multiple rooms or for far away access. They all function the same and will access the same inventory. 
Similar to the ME access panel, you can add an ME crafting terminal, which will allow you to access the network's inventory, but also give you a crafting table where you can pull items directly out of the inventory and craft them on the table. If your network suddenly stops taking in items, it's most likely because your storage is full. Make sure you check your drive colors. Yellow indicates that the drive is full of items, but not full capacity, whereas red indicates that all the bytes on the drive are used and can no longer hold any items of any kind. That's all for the basics of the ME network. Coming up for my next video will be how to set up an MEC processor and have your network auto-craft items for you. For any suggestions or questions on how to work this or on future videos, topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, make sure to subscribe. So it's important to remember that you need iron What the hell is this? Found an orange cosmos. I broke it with a bee. Ouch. Weak.